time for the main event of the evening, the final fight of the night. That's right. And this is the champion defending his European title here for you tonight. Will the winner go on to challenge for world honours? We're about to find out. Let's bring out the challenger first into the blue corner. Please welcome LJ Coleman. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in the reigning, defending Royal Combat League European Champion. Please welcome Sevke Trudkin! Ladies and gentlemen, this European title of defense is in the 59 kilo division, fought under A class rules over five three minute rounds. Introducing first the challenger in the blue corner, representing Bird Company, we give it LJ Coleman. And now it's time for the reigning, defending. Raw Combat League Champion, representing the Nolde Academy, he is Sevkin Jenkins! Over to your fighters and your referees. title defense of Sevket Circus matched at 69 kilograms full tie rules this is the first of five three minute rounds LJ Coleman the challenger from the bad company gym in Leeds round one Instant kick from Sevket, high. He likes to kick high, Sevket, doesn't he? He does that left, left kick. Good lean back from, from LJ. And another one. Oh, Taekwondo kick from Sevket, where'd that come from? Yeah, really good. Wow, gave good you, Gave you something to think about earlier that, didn't it? Catch and right punch counter from Sevkin. Inside leg kick from, from LJ. Fair 
very good left kick from Sebke. He switches well, doesn't he? Very, very fluent kicker, Sebke. You see that a lot. Oh, good evasion from LJ. Yeah, risky one. Risky, yes. Him counter. Calm and collected, Coleman in round one. Sevke just pushing the pace. Got to let him know you're champion and you're at home at the moment. Oh, very good. Yeah, good shots. Left oh, balances through. him. He's angry. Right over the top. I I'll think he's hurt. He is. I think Sevke right can really put him away now. He's hurt. Sevke in with the hands. That shot hurt. If Sevke carries on with his boxing and maybe knees up the middle, I think he's going to take him early. Very good left kick again. He's making Coleman look messy, isn't he? He slowed down a little bit, Sevke. Let, let, let him off. Oh, oh, good uppercut through the middle. Uppercut, yeah. He is hurt. He's badly hurt. His legs are wobbly. Sevke wants the phenomenal knockout, doesn't he? He throws gets, those amazing kicks. Gets thrown as you say that. Yeah, Coleman just showing that I'm in here and he wants to show him he's strong. But has, has Coleman recovered? Coleman just marching him back to that mutual corner now, but Sevke wants to get a grip of him. Good knee from Sevke. Another one. Gets a good angle, tries to go up to the head. Another left hand to the middle from Sevke. Sevke's first all the time, isn't he? Yes, gets taken down, gets caught and taken but down he's there. first with those exchanges. He wants to have the first shot. Coleman looks like he's recovered. He is, because he looked wobbly, didn't he? Yes. Oh, good right kick. Beautiful Little score. Rips. Beautiful score. Good, good jump. Yeah, knee. long knee there comes in from Sevke. Another and again, one. he repeats it. That's very a really good round for Sevke, right? Very good, very good round for Sevke. I'll tell you what, Coleman done well to stand, to keep, keep standing off those punches. Didn't even get an eight count. Well to and he used some good physical strength to get himself out of trouble in there, didn't he, when they came close and he actually threw Sevke down. Yeah. And then he threw some good shots after. You could tell he was recovering. Got himself enough of a breather to, to recover and then carry on fighting. But Sevke abandoned those, bo those boxing combinations. Sevke is experienced enough not to rush. Yeah. To push for a knockout when your opponent is too fresh. He's done that before with Marcel Ademi and he came unstuck with that before. Yes, I, I you remember, remember that, that one with a high kick? He got caught in the first round. Yeah, they're, they're all lessons learned. But then he did get a rematch. He didn't get a rematch and he did win. Yeah, he did. Now he knows. He's learned those lessons. He's not going to do anything silly here, but surely he's in control of this one. He, he was the first round. We'll have to see how the fight goes on. Because the bad company guys, they grow as the fight goes on. For sure. But Seth has got all the qualities you want in an A-class fighter, plus one more. He's the strongest, mentally the strongest fighter, or one of the strongest fighters you, you've ever seen. He'd gladly take a beating for four rounds if he has to, if he knows that in the, round, in the last round you tire out and he's gonna get you. He'll do that, no problem. Whereas other fighters, they, they, they say, oh, I'm losing the fight, and they'll lose, they'll get disheartened. Seth Kett wouldn't, he'd just stick to the plan and do what he's told to do up until the Last second, last round. Yeah, phenomenal attitude. You've seen that in his two fights ago against Charlie Guest and his last fight against Josh Hill. Yes, Good. yes. Coleman comes to the centre. Listen, that bad company corner will know everything. Good kick and they will know what to tell him, trust me. He's evading those shots really well, isn't he? Good work from Paul. Entering Paul. the matrix again. Yes, good work. Oh, good one too from Sevkin. That right hand is going through. Sevkin looks mean. He throws those shots. If you come out of the way, he'll come in with a knee. Got him there again on the, on, the, on the temple with the right hand. Very good throw in the clinch. Looks frustrated, Coleman. He 
needs to get his head on this fight. He's hurt again. That right hand hurt him again. And again. It's only a matter of time for that elbow comes from Sevket after those hands as well. Good position. He likes going down low, Sevket. He's going to throw you if you go off balance. And he's so strong getting that. Seth gets enjoying oh, this. Right hand on the back of the head. Just hanging in there at the moment, Coleman. Still coming forward. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt badly. He is. Seth gets dishing out the punishment now. Coleman calls him on and says, I'm here to fight. Don't you worry. I'm coming to your backyard, lad, and I'm coming here to fight. He looks at his corner and says, I'm OK. But Seth Kett is in control. Look at Coleman bigging him on, backing him and Seth Kett on. Oh, good elbow from Coleman. Yeah, very good. Found that from a very good angle. Axe kick just misses from Sefke. But it's that one two that's going to do the job if he keeps doing it. Good evasion from Coleman. Yeah, Coleman is very good at evading. Two or three lead backs in this round have been phenomenal. But he doesn't counter afterwards. No. He just settles with the evasion. Sefke with too many steps. Whoa, oh. spinning back kick. Oh, that hurt. Coleman even acknowledged it. Nodded his head like a good sportsman. Said, good shot. And there they carry on trading. Sevket almost telling him. Oh, good elbow from Coleman. Yeah, Coleman's really laying it down. A great kick as well. There's that stepping in knee. Yeah, well, he's a right hand, a left hand. Again, and left again. He's a warrior brand fighter, this Coleman, let me tell you that. They breed them tough up, no. The gravy and peas have got steroids in them, I'm telling you that now. I'm telling you that now, the chips and gravy and peas. They, get, they breed them very strong up there. And he's hanging in there and really, really bringing the fight to Sevket at the end of that round as well. From, from most of that round, Sevket looked dominant. Coleman came back into it towards I the end. I thought the end of that round showed such heart from Coleman. I really did. Like big, I big say, one. there must be steroids in them chips and gravy up there in, in Yorkshire. They're all tough. They all come down and they are all tough every time they come down and fight. For me, Seth, get in control on the scorecard, so Alex. Yeah, so he's, he's ahead. But we've only seen two rounds. Yep. The fight is long. Three. Well, round three. It's been two good rounds from Sevke on the score for me, but and he looks like he's hurt Coleman sometimes. But Coleman is one of them warrior brand fighters, isn't he, Alex? Yes. You never know what's going to come from him. He started with two strong low kicks. Sevke takes him down there, but he landed two, three, four really hard low kicks. Sevke's boxing's been very good. And his knees as well. Yeah. There's 
that, he loves that lead kick, doesn't he? Just he brings it up, pulls it back just before he can catch it, so he gets away with, with the score. Yeah, if you just went kick for kick with him, there's not many people that would beat him, is there? Yes. Good, good right knee. And another one, good right knee. He's coming with a weird angle on the side, but he's always landing that right knee. He's a free scorer, isn't he, Semke? There's points in the bank, doesn't it? I said in the beginning, one of the most mature fighters, fighters you, you're ever going to see mentally strong. He's just going to do everything he needs to do. What do we have to do to win? This, let's do it. And he does it, regardless of how he feels and how much pain he's in. I feel like he's a very rounded fighter as well, Alex. When it comes to clinch, he goes nice and low and gets a good body position, good balance. He can knee, he can kick, and he can punch. Very rounded fighter. Very rounded fighter, complete fighter. At the moment, Coleman's shown all the attributes of a bad company fighter where you've got warrior brain, where you rock hard when you come without fear. Right, he's getting outscored badly now. He is, yeah. And it's hard to clinch against Seth because he's so good getting that guy lock underneath your arms. Coleman's got good sparring partners in this category. He's got Jordan Watson and he's got Joe Craven as well. well you've got bad, bad company, you've got everyone in bad company. Yeah, a lot, then, of, a lot of guys are, uh, are smaller weight categories though, you know, for these guys to spar with. They're very strong, they're very, very strong, Watson. yeah. But then again, Nosey Academy, you've got Linden, you've got Liam Nolan, John Haggerty, you me as well. Yes. Nosey Academy versus Bad Company, the duel of the two ages. Two top gyms, right? Gym of the year, Nosey Academy this year. Yes. Beautiful kick up to the head there from Semke Zertes. Oh, Push kick as well, he's hurting him here. Oh, he's been... Shakes his head, but I think you're just going to encourage him to do it again. Look at that, he shakes his head, but he's getting hurt. Sem gets comfortable. <laughs> Don't Sem get too happy. comfortable, my friend. Just on the bell. Didn't look. Well, the money round in Muay Thai, but I'll tell you what, Coleman's going to have to throw a lot of money into this one. He really, really is. Sevke clearly ahead in this fight, but Coleman's showing heart of a lion. But you do have to look at how many shots he's taking as well. Oh, it leads to the cameraman. And he's straight out with that. Double kick to the cameraman. Careful, Sevke, taking out half the audience. 
Good news. Cameraman never set out today to be the challenger. <laughs> Gotta watch them when they go over the ropes like that, hyper extending their backs. Another one of those kicks. Seth kicks and pulls his leg out. It's so hard to catch. Coleman looks untidy sometimes because Sevke is so composed. Keeps every time he gets hit, he puts his hands out and says, nah. I'll tell you what, sometimes that just shows the judges you've been hit, right? Yes. How, how would you get into Sevke's head? It's damn near impossible. If you land nah. a good shot at the beginning. He's solid in the head. Sevke is solid in the head and mind at the moment. And he keeps landing that one too. The right hand. He's enjoying the fight. They're both enjoying the fight. Let's have it straight. Yeah, but Seth, Seth Kett knows he's, he's ahead and now he's super confident. Yeah. Spin elbow. Coleman looks out of ideas now. He's just walking into trouble. Goes down to the leg, but you're not going to stop him on the low kicks now, are you, surely? He is, he is getting scored on. Oh, oh big massive knee. knee. Massive knee, that oh, was. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Sevke damaging the body now. But look at Comer, he's still, he's not even getting an eight count, he's still standing. He's changed what he's done all through the fight, hasn't he? Sevke hasn't fought the same fight every round, has he? No, Sevke, as you said, is well-rounded and complete. Comer shakes his head, says, no, I'm not going down. You have to do better than that, my friend. Yeah, he's warrior brand. Heart of a lion, he really has. Listen, Bad Company Corner can work on things with him after this fight. Good low kicks from, from Coleman. One thing they can't late. do is give him a heart, because he has got a heart, this kid. He has got a heart. He's proving it now. That's where I think Sevke has been really dangerous, boxing combinations with the knee. And Coleman's looked very uncomfortable in that situation. Sevke's just too fresh. Oh, look at that. Oh, showed out of his hands and more the spinning back kick. Sevke Shobo in here. My word. Impeccable performance. My word. Faultless performance. That is how, that is how you go out in the money round and show someone this is my belt. That is how you defend a European title. That, that, is, that is how you do it, my friend. He looks absolutely perplexed, Coleman. He needs a stoppage this round. I can't see how it's gonna come. No, he can all win on points anymore. He's lost every round. But does he have a stoppage left in him? He sure does. He's a warrior brand, yeah, as you yeah, said. Like, like I say, he's got the right attributes like that. Has he got the skills? I'm not so sure. Not at this level. This level is high. Sevke is a very high-level fighter. Anyone stop Sevke? There's not many people to not many. be able to stop Sevke. But listen, if anyone knows how to tell them what shot they need now, it's got to be Andy Hausen. It's got to be one of these guys in the corner right now. Andy Hausen has done it plenty of times. He knows. He knows. Richard Smith knows. Andy Housen has come out from, James Brown's from, from they, fights. They all know. They know what he's oh, got yes. to do in this round. Yeah. It's a very, very high task and a very high ask. If anyone knows how to come out like a madman in swing, it's Andy Housen. But can can he push that attitude onto LG Coleman listen, now? Listen, listen Coleman is going to come out there and give it his all. Because that's what he's made of. That's who he is. You can see that already. But I'm sure Sevke is looking forward to this round already. Yes, all Sevke needs to do is ride it out. But I believe Sevke will Would you will be professional now? Yeah, I think so. But would you go on the back foot now, Alex? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not in his position. In my position. Oh, in my position. I do exactly that. <laughs> That's what everyone in the crowd wants to see. Yeah, Sevke wants a knockout, wants a stoppage. He wants to show his crowd what he's made of. Well, it's been working in his favour for the last four rounds. So why change it now? Why go on the back foot? This guy's not going to stop coming at you anyway. He's, look, he's so strong. 
I like the way he uses his hands to just hold you back. Just puts his hands on your face and moves you back. And the second is like it's his first round, he's just, just got warmed up. He can go another fight. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get changed. He's fit, isn't he? Very fit <laughs> and strong. Get, I'm going to go get changed and give him another fight afterwards. He's got endurance and stamina. <laughs> so has Coleman. Hasn't slowed down at all. He's just come up against the fighter who's just a class above him at the moment, I think. He's really brought the fight to him. This fight has been non-stop. Coleman doesn't look easy. Coleman doesn't want to go down. Shifkin doesn't want to slow down. Coleman's rock hard. Simple as that. He's rock hard. I'll be honest, for me, this was the this has been the fight of the night. Yeah, sure. We've seen some great performances, but this one is at, at everything. Shifkin's composure. Oh, look at it's that. It's unbelievable. Team. Guess if he really wants him, in. fires in the body. The you know that knee's coming. He's handled that well, Coleman, there. Hand in the face in the clinch, past the elbow. Jumping knee, very good. Sevket loves those kicks, doesn't he? Oh, he just pushes Coleman off balance now. Come on, you have to see this fight on your feet. You've had too big of a heart. I've got no doubt in my mind that Coleman will be standing there for the decision at the end. No doubt, he's a tank. It's as simple as that, this kid is a tank. And like we said earlier, he's had some top, top fighters whacking him about sparring, obviously. Look at that. The long knees are savage. Uh, Absolutely savage through knows the Academy fire. This is the, the best performance I've seen from Sefket in his entire career. Yeah, he's been brilliant, mate. And he's had some good ones, but this one is above everything. The right knee has been a weapon and a half, right? Coleman has literally wobbled around the room. Sometimes his legs are like a newborn baby deer. He, he still managed to just carry on with those legs. He and refused push to give up. I was in no doubt he'd make it to the end of that fight. What a fight that was. That was amazing. That was, I'm speechless now. Heart of a lion.